Good morning. Today on Antique and Garden Showcase, we are going to go pick up an auction. And I've got an auction that's really good today that I found some pieces of furniture and some accessories, some nice things for the booth. Unfortunately, if you can see the rain behind me, this is what I have to pick up in today. But I figure it's better today than tomorrow because this auction had 1,300 lots in it. So there's going to be a lot of people there picking up uh, different things. So I'm going to try to get out there today. I've got to get my car prepared first. I'm going to show you a few things I do to get ready to go pick up. So the items I'm preparing for today are a tea cart, a Kentucky cherry table, um, a piece of artwork, one piece of glassware, uh, some footstools, a quilt, and maybe a couple other things I can't remember right off. But as you can see, my car is full of boxes. I don't need boxes today. I don't need a lot of crates. I'm going to take one crate because I have one piece of glassware. I need moving blankets. I've got to get moving blankets put in there and pretty much everything else cleaned out. So task one is to get all this stuff out of the car and get the right things in. So this crate I keep in my car pretty often if just for trailer accessories. If I have to have my ball hitch, if I have to have tie downs, whatever, sometimes shopping bags, if you're going to estate sales, this is kind of my catch-all box for things. And I don't really need this today. I'm not taking a trailer. I'm not going to need tie downs. Everything's going to fit in the car. I'm actually going to fold the two seats down so I have a lot more room. And then I'm going to take this blanket cover all those over and that leaves me two black blankets and one more i'm going to try to find another extra blanket there i've got one box for glassware and i should be set so i'm going to get the seats flipped down and ready to go i like to be as prepared as possible um, one of the things that really helps auctioneers is for you to be prepared when you go to pick up because they're trying to get as many people in and out as possible and with this yucky weather today, they're going to be wit's end. All right, so I have my seats down. I have the back covered. I'm going to load in the extra blankets and the other uh, crate back in. And this is ready to haul furniture. And, you know, I don't have to do anything when I get there. This I can actually pull out and cover over the bumper if I need to. If I have to kind of roll something in, it protects. But an SUV is wonderful for pickup like this. Then this is a Toyota Highlander. It's got a little bit of age on it. But uh, I found it to be very useful when I go doing the things that I do because it gives me almost the room of like a van on the inside and lots of room for uh, furniture and whatever else. In fact, the two bookcases I have in the Antique and Garden Showcase booth, I fit both of those in there stacked on top of each other in this car at the same time. So lots and lots of room. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get ready to head over that way. Okay, well, I have never been in more of a stressful situation than that in my life, but we made it and we got quite a few things in the car which i'll show you when i get home so here's the first piece that i bought this is a really pretty pennsylvania house um, tea cart it's got the uh, really nice rollers on it drop leaves on both sides and on this side it actually has a drawer for storage which i can't put it around here to see there you go a little drawer for storage Super nice piece. I'll have that over at the booth either this weekend or early next week. Not sure which. Also picked up this bread box. I'm going to do a little cleanup on it. It's a neat piece. That'll be over there eventually. And then inside I've got a few more things. These are some of the items I brought home. I got this really pretty cheery footstool that's upholstered. Looks like it's handmade. There's also a dressing table bench that's upholstered. Really pretty uh, Kentucky cheery on that one. This print is a lithograph. It's by artist Arthur John Ellsley. It's called The Huntsman's Pet. And the best I can tell, that's a 1908. That was beautifully framed, double matted, and a really, really nice piece of art that I'm going to put over in the booth. Um, also, let's take a look at this table that I picked up. I thought it was Kentucky Cherry. It turns out that it's actually walnut. And this is the center of the spectacular quilt that I bought at this auction. It was an iris garden quilt. And somebody had put in all of this tremendous work. Look at this. Even the buds, the leaves, the blooms. So much detail in here. Talk about an art form. I had to pay up to get this one, but 
I am really happy that I did. And it's filled with little tiny flowers all the way around it. And then on each edge of the corners, it has another group as well as the big pretty section in the center. This was a spectacular quilt. I've not seen anything quite like this one before. Other finds today were this USA crock with a lid. Also this little teapot that I found with a little lid. It doesn't have a maker's mark, but it kind of looks like hull. Some more really pretty uh, paperweights. Enormous size piece there. Uh, Jeanette vase, a Vitrock vase. I bought this for myself. This is a, uh, it's like a casserole stand or a chinoiserie bowl type stand. There's a little green vase here. This stand came with something else, and then these two little vases are going over tomorrow as well. I also got some more of the uh, Moonstone um, iridescent bowls. These are uh, by Federal. I had some mugs earlier like those. But those are a few things that are going back uh, tomorrow. Thank you for watching Antique and Garden Showcase, and I look forward to seeing you back in the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you for watching, and have a great week. Bye.